Adventures in American Literature, Edward Taylor's Huswifery. Edward Taylor, 1642, possibly, to 1729. It took 200 years for the best poems written in early America to be published. Although their author, Edward Taylor, wrote thousands of lines of poetry, he allowed only two stanzas of one poem to be published during his long life and asked his heirs not to publish any more. Written in the late 17th and early 18th centuries, his poems were not printed until the 20th century. Like most American Puritan writers, Taylor was a minister. He came to Boston in 1668 after losing a teaching position in England because he refused to take an oath contrary to his religious beliefs. He already had a degree from an English university, but he took a second degree at Harvard. After graduation, he accepted a post as minister to the tiny frontier town of Westfield, Massachusetts. He wrote that the hundred-mile journey there in November 1671 proved difficult, the snow being mid-leg deep, the way unbeaten, or the track filled up again and over rocks and mountains. Difficulties persisted during the nearly 60 years Taylor spent in Westfield. The town was under constant threat of attack during King Philip's War, the Great Indian War of the 1670s, in which two-thirds of the villages of Massachusetts Bay were damaged or destroyed. Taylor's first wife bore eight children, five of whom died as infants. A conservative and seemingly irritable man, he also quarreled with, t uh, with tenants on his property and with his own congregation and other ministers on religious matters. Taylor wrote a good deal. No one knows how much, for poems by him are still being discovered. Some turned up not long ago, stuffed in the bindings of books in his library. Almost all of his known poetry concerns religion. Taylor tried to defend the original faith of the Puritans against newer, more liberal religious ideas. He believed that only persons who had the mystical experience of grace should be allowed to become full members of a church at a time when many other Puritans wished to eliminate grace as a requirement for church membership in hopes of keeping the churches filled. His poetic style also differs from that of most other Puritan poets, being often difficult and intricate. His chief poetic work is a group of more than 200 poems entitled Preparatory Meditations, which he wrote on and off for 44 years. Here, he explored the mystery of grace, trying to understand how a human being, a crumb of dust, could be joined to God might almighty. Taylor wrote little directly about his life in the new land, yet his poems testify to the intensity of Puritan religious life in wilderness America and their publication after 200 years contrib uh, contributes to American literature, a powerful and original imagination. Huswifery. Make me, O Lord, thy spinning wheel complete, Thy holy word my distaff make for me. Make mine affections thy swift flyers neat, and make my soul thy holy spool to be. My conversation make to be thy reel, and reel the yarn thereupon spun of thy wheel. Make me thy loom then, knit therein this twine, and make thy Holy Spirit, Lord, wind quills then weave the web thyself the yarn is fine thine ordinances make my fulling mills then dye the same in heavenly colors choice all pinked and varnished flowers of paradise then clothe therewith mine understanding will affections judgment conscience memory my words and actions that their shine may fill my ways with glory and thee glorify then mine apparel shall display before ye that i am clothed in holy robes for glory <laughs>